you're listening to the Board Game Snobs podcast, a ridiculous podcast with ridiculous hosts that discuss ridiculous things. And any mention of board games is purely coincidental. And so, without further ado, and with a heavy dollop of shame and embarrassment on my part, I give you the Board Game Snobs. <laughs> Go. And welcome to the Board Game Snobs Podcast. What episode is this? 200 and something? Nine. No. We're ah. 250 something. Hold. We're way up there. This is the Board I Game wish you would. I would, I would have had that prepared. Well, you suck. You should have been more. 243. Well. <gasps> We're getting close to 250. We're going to do it 250. This is Jerry. We'll make another podcast. This is Jerry. Do nothing. This is Jerry. This is Enrique. This is Gabby. And go. This is a podcast about board gaming and other things. And here recently, I have been inundated with people wondering where I'm at. And it's because my internet is down. My internet went down. So I couldn't get on the Discord and spread Discord. Why is it it called Discord? Because it's just people getting on saying stuff. I know, but Discord is a bad thing. No, it's not. It is. The spreading of Discord is never considered a good thing. Really? Why would you want, want Discord in your company? No. Oh, okay, I think I just explained it. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no, explain your reasoning. Explain your reasoning. Discord is a negative thing. It means things are not in harmony, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Why would you want Discord? Because people aren't always in harmony. To Oxford's we go. Ah, uh, well, yes. Yeah, so this is this is. Yeah, continue. I want to hear your. I want to hear your more thoughts. Like you don't like. You don't like Discord. Well, it'd be like naming your podcast um, Dysfunction. Or not podcast, your social network is Dysfunction. Okay, so hypocrisy is thy name, for you did, did do just that. Discord means disagreement. May I remind you, the name of your podcast is The Disagreeable Nerd. You literally named it. Discord. That, that podcast exists no more. One you and two it is because you were that boring. We did disagree. Uh, yeah, and you should disagree. Disagreement is good. Hence the whole premise of your previous podcast, and quite frankly, the pre- premises of this one. So you go on Discord just to fight everybody? Exactly. Yes. I'm taking my shirt off as we speak. I took my hoodie off. We have yet to fight on our Discord server for board game snobs. Uh, Link found in the show notes. I will fight with somebody. Say something controversial. Or not even controversial. How much jam do you use on your toast? Oh, jelly only. Then you're an idiot. That's <laughs> what I say. I'm jam only. Is jam the, the... the You get your jam on? The jam is the fruit. Jam on. Jelly is the juices. Jam has the stuff in it. Jelly is smooth. I don't want that. I want crunch. Then there's preserves. So don't get me started on which that's one's which because I don't know. That's stuff that they... Yeah. But no. So I'm not that in depth into the subject of of uh, cannery Peter peanut butter sandwich accoutrement. I could not get on the Discord because my internet's been down because I had to report Elon to the FCC. Huh? I have Starlink. Do you have Starlink? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I, 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 I live out in the, uh, the sticks. Of a star. So the satellite wasn't working. And yeah. apparently when we got a little bit of ice, it fried, turned on the heater, and it cooked it. And so Elon wouldn't send me a cord. I was without cord. <laughs> and so I... Eventually- Discord. Exactly. Really? I made the joke already. You said a cord. It, I was referencing back. You don't have to make every joke on the nose. The subtlety of Discord? it. Discord. That's what I was saying. Oh, my God. Uh, hey, calm down. Subtlety. Just because you're sitting in my seat doesn't have to make you get angry. I'm, all the time. I'm mad. At, I'm well, mad. technically, you're in your seat right now. No, he's over in the spot I'm usually in. I'm mad at Elon. Well. 
You're always mad at someone. He, he is. is. He's I, always enraged at something. My internet wasn't working. He's his whole life is Discord. So I report which can to the be FCC. somewhat comical at the same time. It can be amusing. Hello. If, as long as you're not, <laughs> as long as you're not on the receiving end of it. <laughs> No, even on the receiving end, it's still hysterical. That's true, long- if you don't take him seriously. I know, right? Which, I mean, who does? Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Gabby and Enrique show, as it, we talk about Well, Jerry, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Elon took me seriously, because after I reported him to FCC 24 hours later... Why don't you tell the whole story? Starlink called, I'm trying if you quit interrupting me! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've actually been meaning to work on that. Go ahead. I sw- <laughs> It, Calm down. Okay, well, now that I'm at the end of the story where Elon just sent me a free cord. But I, but why were you knocked to the top of the list? He didn't know who I was. I sent him who, the link to the show and say, Who are you? I'm where do you live? With the board game snobs. Good job. Oh, with the board game snobs You didn't podcast. even last five seconds about the interrupting <laughs> part. Oh, you just keep right. saying stupid <laughs> things over and over and over. What I just said in the funnier voice. That's I not just, comedy. I just forgot. Oh. I can't tell. I'm, I'm, I'm massaging, massaging my my Your anger my, muscle. Yes, I've got. I'm, you, I'm trying to vagal down. <laughs> get, some, get some relief. I'm vagaling down. Okay. Have you ever heard of? Yes. The Erfurt the latrine disaster. Yes, I have. I've been to Erfurt. I haven't heard about it. More like Air fart. Uh, latrine uh, disaster. Listen, before you go any this further, this is going to be bottom stop. Run, just, before you go any further. Do you know that in German, fart means exit? That's like a term that they use to exit vehicles off the highway. I know. That's why the Volkswagen was the fart fig No, it was not. Because you got to get out of it. No, it wasn't. Herbie. No. Had, you got to get out. No. Lindsay Lohan exited. She fart fig Herbie. <laughs> the love bug. Keep going. Just go. Question. Why was he called the love bug? Because he got, brought people together. <laughs> he brought Don Knotts and the guy off the, the Flubber, the show before Flubber. It was the absent minded professor. Him together. Oh, yeah. And then he brought together uh, a bunch of other people. The dude off of... Oh, the weird dude. I'm thinking of the fourth Herbie. Tim Conway? Tim Conway. Was, Was Tim he? Conway in it? I don't know. No. I say it's been so long since it was I've watched Don Kirby. Knotts and that dude. And who then, was the flubber dude? He was all over Disney movies back in the he day. Was. He's, he's and he was. He was also the Shaggy DA. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You remember that? Yes, I do. That was so good. That was uh, those shows where they did those everybody's an animal thing. Herbie. I didn't like that. Okay, so I didn't like that at all. Besides that, Erfurt Latrine disaster. But I am Team Jacob. Occurred in July eleven eighty four. Mm. So we're talking about a long time ago. King Henry the Sixth, the King of Germany, the sixth Henry at the time ever in the history of time. Mm. Held a Hoftag. Hoftag. That's an informal assembly for the non-Germans. Also a Klingon bar mitzvah. <laughs> in the Petersburg, <laughs> the Petersburg Citadel in Erfurt. I cried myself up. Or you could say the Peters Turd Citadel in Erfurt. Please. Look, it's just no, going to be all, this, this, it's going to be all sub Continue, 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 continue. So... What happened was, on the morning of July 26th, the combined weight of the assembled nobles caused the wooden second-story floor of the building to collapse, and most of them fell through into the latrine cesspit below the ground floor, where about 60 of them drowned in liquid excrement. Apparently, they didn't have solid stools back then. If they had solid stools, they probably wouldn't have fell through the floor. Am I right? Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I didn't expect. Okay. So this event this is called the Erfurter like Latrinensturz in several German sources. So here's the they thing. They drowned in German sources. <laughs> <laughs> I like that I got the best joke. So Get can you your- think of the, anything worse than anything than death by excrementation? Uh, yeah, there's many other torture this devices for which one could die. You might say they fell into the bowels of the cathedral. Am I right? They should have made a movie called Dung Kirk. That's a good one. You, your dung smile. Kirk? Your <laughs> dung Kirk. Your smile got wider on that. No, one. I did not. Good thing oh, wait, wait, wait. It's Petersburg Cathedral. Brave fart. Brave fart. <laughs> <laughs> they Sorry. should have sent for Stop. help Stop. using a pigeon, a stool pigeon. Am I right? 
Okay. I heard it was categorically one of the greatest do disasters of all time. Why must you curse us with this okay, sad? I just want weird to bring out that this this disaster happened and everybody died in poo. <laughs> Why are you laughing at this disaster, Enrique? Because Do you not appreciate what these people went through? I I guess it, they I don't know. I don't know how to even respond to this. Like, you know, several of them once they got down there had to be corn fused. A staple at the time. Okay. Make this very I wrecked them. Many of them died quickly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Thank you. You're welcome. It, 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 please stop. This is this is the lowest you've ever gone. I Shizur hope they made it out okay. I didn't. That one went over yeah. my head. Yeah, like it's German. Oh, is it? Don't oh, look okay. It up. Don't I was look like, it up. "So wait, we're not that type of podcast." Is that the best you got? You might think it was the orgeur of the day. That's another big word. Orgeur? I think it means poop. I don't think it does. Those are those little sandwiches they serve before parties. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they orders? I don't know. I don't know. You made this pod. This, this is like, why, why did you do this? This is the one time we get together. Is this because we orgeur? Played- O-R-D-U-R-E is excrement or dung. This is because we played mm. games you didn't like today. and Pretty much. Yeah. Right. Speaking of orgeur, let's discuss Guild of Merchant Explorers. That was okay one. At it's least. okay. It's not great. It's not bad. It's okay. I love playing okay games. It was made by AEG. And it you claimed it to be a roll and write in disguise. And not just me. Like That's everywhere. What's everywhere? That people say it's people a are line? saying that they're like it's rolling right on a board with cubes. So it's not really a rolling right because you don't really roll anything. Well, you you, it's a, anything. it would be a flipping right, but you don't write anything. It's the same principle as rolling rights. You Except flip a card without writing, and you would mark that on your piece of paper. But in this case, you flip a card, and instead of marking it, you place a cube. Okay. So it's a rolling right with no writing nor cubes. I'm just stating that because I know there are enthusiasts out there. That enjoy number two pencils, and they enjoy writing things. And if they think that this is a rolling ride and no one is writing anything, they're going to be quite no. I got upset. you. I'm glad you made that clear. I'm just making sure. That I don't want to lead anyone astray. It's 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 a rondelle because there's circles in it, and uh, that's my boy. This game. This is not a rondelle. Is very Jerry's cool. lying. Very light. Who this knows? Is, this is one of the worst de- descriptions of a game you've ever done. I'm not doing the description. You're the one. This you we're can- not discussing anything. I just brought up the game. This saying, is your game. This you're is your game. usually the description guy. Are, Are you, you going to describe uh, it? Oh, so you're going to interrupt me so I can describe it? I will not interrupt you. I will let you describe. The grill. Even though everybody hates descriptions of games. People love. The- These are riveting. <laughs> Riveted by the descriptions because how else will they know what the game's about? I'm not going to interrupt you. In the game, the Guild of Merchant Explorers by AEG and designers for which I cannot pronounce names of Matthew Dunstan and you've already interrupted me. You already interrupted me. No, no, no. You already interrupted me. I don't care. Gilbert's. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Delbert. Delbert Gibson. People do care. I bet Matthew Dunstan cares that he knows who made Guild of Merchant Explorers. And now you're about to you're about to hate on his gang. Okay, but after that, I'm not going to interrupt you anymore. The Guild of Merchant Explorers. <laughs> how many times are you going to say that name? How many times are you going to interrupt me? <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot I was trying. Okay, and now the Guild. Oh of- my god. <laughs> Stop saying the name. Okay, and go. The Guild of Merchant Explorers is a game for which one utilizes very pretty artwork on a map. And there's little cars that flip out. And on this map are little hexagons of various different types of terrain and sea. And you're just placing cubes out onto the terrain according to whatever card is flipped up to make routes. And you're making routes to different little areas. And once you fill in those areas, you can make villages and sometimes you build a route to another little trade area and you multiply the score and you get money, which is victory points. And sometimes you find little treasure things and those give you a card that lets you do something 
in the end game or something special, and it's very, very light. And you use cubes, and because Gabi has fat fingers, he can't pick up the cubes, and so it's not, it's hard, it's hard. I will say, these cubes are little, and they're irritating, and it's very light, and it's it's about being a merchant and exploring with your guild, and it's not good. That's it's okay. It's very very okay. It's very mediocre. It's an intermediate game. No, it's and, not. No, I'm sorry, beginner game. It's very sorry. beginner. They need to supply tweezers so that you can move the cubes around. Yeah, how are the how are the fat phalange posed to? Pick up these little bitty cubes. My people are discriminated against. You know, they they, they they talk about games for the colorblind. There's games for the fat fingered. We also need to consider. Yes, those that are dexterity. Is your wife vacuuming? Of course. She of is. course. Of course. Everybody in your family interrupts me. Everyone. Everyone. You have a cat. Well, it meows. Don't talk about Rio. Your wife vacuums. There's no. End to the irritation. She's got to no keep reason. the house clean, man. And she does a fine job. This game is very interesting because I desperately wanted to like it. It has a solo version, which I didn't particularly find fascinating. The it's, art, it's you know what, it's is, better. It's okay because I don't have to wait on you to decide where you're going to put your cubes. You really don't wait at all in this game. Everybody does it simultaneously. Well, some people take a while, much like a rolling right? but without the writing nor the rolling. And then you have to remove the cubes from your little space when you start over each round. There's four rounds. This game is unfortunately going to be forgotten because it's just not. It's I love the there's, artwork there's, on it. It's a flipping cube. But here's the thing, because I'm so carding cube. I am so um, you know I like to make sure that each game has its audience, and there is an audience for this. <laughs> it's people. Here we go. That enjoy, oh. like cartographers. Oh, what are you thinking? What are I you really thinking? thought you were going to talk about with weak bloodlines. No. That's your usual route. You I, go. I'm, I have changed. <laughs> no, no, really. <laughs> I have changed. No, have you? Yes. Okay. I'm sitting here now. I can't wait for you to stop hollering at me about interrupting you someday. Well, if you would stop interrupting me someday, that day would come very quickly. Cards but- and cube. You're pushing cubes around. You're cubing. Like, that should be what they call that. Like, when you're putting a bunch of cubes out, you're Cuban. That is racist. We're going to go. Oh, that is a, that is a country, very is it not? You're racist. Y- did you not know <laughs> that? Was- I did not know. I did not think about that. <laughs> you're was, Chilean. I'm you're not going to lie. Cousins. I really thought you noticed. No, I was just, I, no, I was not thinking about the country. <laughs> But I'm glad I could fidel you in. <laughs> well, there goes our, our uh, Cuban listeners. Uh, what? Did you just say Cuban what? Cuban listeners. Oh, listeners. Do we have any Cuban listeners? El Cubano. They don't, do they, do they have. My favorite sandwich is a Cuban sandwich, by the way, which I discovered in Miami. It's the Cubano. Huh? The Cubano. That's the little hut you sit in. No, in that's the, the sandwich. You're making a fool of yourself. Cubano. It's made with Cuban bread. What are you talking about? The right Cabano, now? your sandwich. The Cuban sandwich. It's well, what is a Cuban sandwich? Explain it to me. It's a sandwich with a variety of meats, a cheese, and some mustard mix. It's a Cabano. It's not a Cuban sandwich. Quit embarrassing yourself. Stop. Why are you so angry? Because all the you're time? wrong all the time, and you interrupt <laughs> me to not, say wrong things. I did not interrupt you. You did. You did. All then you do I, is interrupt. Yes. My apologies. You don't even know about Cuba. My apologies. I forgot about Cuba, which there makes for a me mad. Because JFK was played by Kevin Costner. So you should know about Cuba because that was practically a documentary. I know. His Boston accent was so authentic. 13 days. 13 days. We're going to launch the missiles. That's how he sounded. I'm doing actually. I'm actually doing a better job than Kevin Costner you did. Took, you took me that back. Was the, you that, took me back. that was the literally when he started speaking in the, his little JFK. Act, I was like, oh my god, Kevin. I'm glad he did not attempt the English one for Robin Hood. It was don't, much better without it. Don't ask what you can do. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't ask what you can do with me, Andre. Ask not what you can do. <laughs> don't ask. Don't ask. <laughs> don't ask. <laughs> that's, that's a really. <laughs> See that that speech was hard. What can you do for your country? <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> what can you do for a Klondike bar? <laughs> it's sad that we both had that coming. That's okay. Um, let's see. Cubans, oh. JFK, 
Yes. Kevin Costner. <laughs> We're actually talking about Guild of Merchant Explorers. Sh- quit saying the title. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there? That's called a callback. Um, it's it's okay. It's not very good. But like I said, it is for some people. Okay. Can I, can I mention something? May okay. I interrupt you to mention something? <laughs> Please do. When we finished Please playing do. this, I was surprised because you were like saying, I thought it was okay. It was okay. And here's why I thought it was okay. And I'm about to explain. And I thought you'd be more angry about it. I was disappointed. Like me. I was disappointed. But, well, I, my fingers are very thin and agile. Quick and nimble. I'm, I'm like a fiddler. So this game does what it's supposed to do, which is just a very quick, simple build a route, get some stuff. Everybody score your little points. And it's the, the artwork's very nice. And it, it, it is quite fiddly. But it's one of these games that it... It's for people who like 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 tiny towns like we spoke of that uh-huh. which is a very entry level game uh, like cartographers uh, even was it my city the Reiner Knizia game which I really like t- that's Tetris uh, Tetris game I-, I enjoyed that much better but it's a legacy game but I'm just saying is that this game does have an audience and it will catch your attention it's just not the heavy Euro game that when you hear the name of this and you think ah oh, this is probably going to be a, a much deeper it's not. And there's not just a whole lot of strategy, and it is very roll and righty. And it, 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 if I had thought I was going to play a deep Euro game and I picked this up, I would be very disappointed. When we sat down and you ex- quickly explained it, I, my mind switched off to this is going to be a quick little move some cubes around and, and just score, and this is fine. Like it, it was fine, and but it was not something that I would ever play again. It's not something that I hated either. It does what it's supposed to do, and it sets out to be just a very light, roll and write type game. And so, uh, my expectations were correct, is what I'm trying to say. And you wanted more, and you didn't get it. I thought it would be more fun, and I just didn't enjoy it. You wanted and fun. And I also, I also despised the money, which when I played with Jerry, I said, we just should just do the tally marks thing. Uh, Natalie from Gamecasters recommend that. Who? It's much easier. Natalie from Gamecasters. I know Natalie. And uh, it's much easier. Enrique, what did you think? I hate Jeff. It was okay. It's just... My name is- <clears throat> Clear your throat out right into the microphone. Yeah, please do go. that. Please gotcha. do that. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. That, at least you don't interrupt me. More or less. He doesn't say anything, though, unless you, look, you address him you look specifically. Very, look very what? Cu- you look very Cuban. Cuban? You, you do. Oh, Cubano. what? Because of the like mustache? Sandwich. Not, not just Are you, you saying he looks like a sandwich? You do. You look very... Um, Those earphones do kind of like two pieces of bread on your side of your head. Very flat. I'm not even that tan. Yeah, but no, you know not. what? You usually have very scraggly facial hair, and I notice here because it always because your facial hair once it get to a point it looks very weird. But you've been trimming it up, and you've been like keeping this kind of like yeah. I've been trying to yeah. You look cleaner. You look better. clean. Like I'm kind of worried about you a little bit. Like you maybe you're taking care of yourself for a reason. Are you okay? You know, yeah, like I'm, I'm like fine. Is, is there a Mrs. Enrique? No. Okay. Miss Rike? 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 <laughs> Francisca? What kind of deodorant do you use? Use more. Uh, <laughs> That's my favorite joke. Use more. Why can't I think about it? Is it Old Spice? Yes. Really? I knew yeah. I smelled some Old Spice. Really? Yeah, I like that classic. Spice. Do you use aftershave? No. Not. I'm very sporadic with it. Okay. so Sporadically I'm- beard. <laughs> <laughs> right, down, Kelly, Kelly. Sorry, that was me holding back a laugh, um, a chuckle. I use the electric shave stuff because I use an electric shaver. That's so rough on my skin. Well, I have rough skin because I'm from the south. I, I can't, I can't use an electric razor for my. Did we address you? You'll speak when spoken to. What? <laughs> that was a callback to me saying he never just jumps in. <laughs> See, I do callbacks too. Your callbacks are violent. It was rather rude. That was very rude. <laughs> but no, like I, I can't. Hey, make- shut up! <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's beat this. Just joke. kidding. I love you. Uh, okay, continue. But I can't. I can't use them. They jam up like on my. I um, prefer jelly on my hair. So I have to actually use That's a razor to a get callback. out. That's a callback right there. Uh, Don't be jelly. Of that no, callback. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> That's 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 good stuff. That's what good we're doing right here is good stuff. It's good stuff. With the, uh, you know, I really thought the thing with the farts <laughs> was going to be the excrement. 
It's not going to be that exciting, but it was. It just got really awkward. The Cock Cathedral. That's good stuff right there. Okay. Okay. Defecation. <laughs> <laughs> no, way. And that's why 60 we, people died. We missed the joke. We missed the joke. <laughs> and we said it during it, I think. No, no, no did. you didn't. We no, you didn't. Can you edit that in? <laughs> oh, thank you, Papa Roach. Oh, <laughs> uh, But no, I think if you don't have your expectations in line. Hard right, words back at the guild. Okay, well, here's the well, thing. Like, I was Any- gonna- go, sorry. My, I'm, I'm really bad. Okay, go. Well, just try listening. Oh, God. So, you remember when people give you a one-star review on Apple iTunes and all that, and you freak out about it? A lot of times that when we get reviews of our show and people don't like it, it's because they think board game snobs. And they think this is going to be a game, a podcast about board games and people being very snobbish, which it is, but it's always there as kind of a you know, to segue into what we really want to talk about, which is whatever pops into our head. Pretty much. And they get disappointed. And that's fine, because that's why I chose the name Board Game Snob. Because I didn't choose it, my wife chose it, and I thought this would be f- a funny joke on people. To be like, ha ha ha, you thought that you were going to listen to something about board games. Yeah, but it said it's two idiots just talking about everything they want to. And I think you shouldn't be so hard on yourself, Enrique. <laughs> uh, but it's a good show. But if you know what to expect. Oh, now we're talking about ourselves. Yeah, if you know what to expect. But as if long you, as we can always merge conversation and talking about ourselves, I'm good. The Guild of Board Game Snobs. What does guild mean? Is that like a, a clan? That's when you don't get them castrated all the way. <laughs> guild. That's guild. <laughs> it's not guild. Did oh, you think all these explorers were yes, castrated? I thought this was a. I thought this was a group of of testicles. You need to try to explore. <laughs> I'm sorry, that made so much sense. The gelding of merchant explorers. A bunch of sopranos out there on the scene. <laughs> castrados, oh, oh, castrados. I'm sorry. <laughs> that, that's what it's called. That's a good one. It's not the Sopranos, by the way. It's the castrados, the the prequel. And everybody's really high pitched. Hi, Is that how Fidel sings? Oh, Castrato, Fidel Castrato, Castro. Oh, <laughs> oh, we missed that joke so much. Uh, you did. I made it just now. The Guild of Merchant Explorers. If you like Rolling Rights, you'll like it. And actually, everyone I've talked to. I thoroughly enjoyed this game. If it, if it, yeah. If it's just not up my alley at all. Under different circumcisions, it would probably be something <laughs> that you would enjoy. But other than that, it's not. It's just too, it's too light. And too, how would you describe it, Enrique? Simple. Thank you. As was your explanation. <laughs> like, it, it, that's all it is. It's very simple. Very simple. But you liked it. Yeah, like, you it won. was an okay game. You won. I won the game, but it was an okay you game. You were the best gilded merchant ever. Ever. Is that mine? I don't know. The name it makes was. me think that it's going to be a deeper game. Because, like, the Guilds of London, that was a pretty heavy game. I don't even know if there's there's a couple other games out there that has guild in the title. And they're just heavier games. So, the Guild of Merchant Explorers, I was thinking more of, like, a... Uh, It'd be merchant stuff. Well, I was thinking more of, like, uh, the Age of Empires game like I, for some reason i had that in my mind even though i watched the video and realized oh you're just putting cubes out there but it just the name alone Wait. makes you think it's going to be heavier oh, hold up you watched a video on this and then bought it yeah the video actually and i watched a video just with mike and crystal when we were playing it and i was like and as i'm watching it i'm like the video makes me think oh you can you get money this way you get money this way the video made me think, I'm going to enjoy this. The actual gameplay of me fiddling with the cubes and returning, oh, I, there's no more ones, so let me turn these five ones into a five. Okay, we need more fives, let's turn these two fives into a ten. That's why the money was super irritating. The money and the fiddliness ruined this game for me. So that's it. The whole. So, so, so let's remove the fiddliness. Take the cubes, have a pen. Or race or whatever. It still doesn't matter because then it would be a flip and right. Doesn't matter. I don't like that genre because I don't like, I don't like, what don't I like? Here comes the discord. 
<laughs> I, I, I want to know what you don't like about this game besides the fiddliness. Because you watched something else and thought, I'm going to like this. What yes. made you think you were going to like it? I th- like. I thought I was going. I, I thought I would enjoy the different ways of making money and earning money throughout the game. Okay, and you didn't. It, it was not as satisfying as I thought it would be. You're just building around. Yeah. So it sounds like you're just poor at judging what the game is going to be. It was well, yeah. It was too small. It, maybe it goes back to your conversation several podcasts ago about expectations. I was expecting something different. This was not it. I don't like it. Well, I don't want to think about that. So, on Board Game Geek, what is this game called again? The Gilding of Merchants? You, what, what, what do you mean you don't know what you think about that? The Guild of Merchant Explorers. Thank you, Enrique, for saying the title once again. Uh, it's rated a 7.8. And in terms of weight, it's rated a 2. Very light. So, very light. So, did you not look at the weight of it and go, oh, this is this is going to be light? I hardly ever look at BGG. So, you don't pay attention to it at all? I just look at YouTube stuff every now and then. So, you don't So you don't consider... I'm more of an impulse buyer, actually. Okay. So, you didn't put any effort into learning exactly what the game's about? Other than the video, no. Okay. Hmm. Same thing with the next game we'll discuss, <laughs> San Francisco. Right. And which we're going to... Uh, now, that one I might go a little bit harder into because... I think I was uh, a little more uh, expecting more from this one. Well, I will say, like, I hate to blame the hype. Mm. I don't know. It's, it it kind of, I just heard so much fantastic. This game gets lots of love. I'm like, I just didn't get why. Like, there's lots of games of this ilk. Okay, if you like this game, then you literally should love this whole line of super light games. Like Tiny Towns. Tiny Towns doesn't get this kind of love. I know. Nobody likes Tiny Towns. But it's right there in the same wheelhouse. People are more into cities than towns. And exploring. Yeah. Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. Please come back next time and enjoy this brief interlude of music and... What? You, yeah, you because you always Brief play interlude music. Yeah, you play music at the end of our podcast, don't you? Well, that's the concluding sound. Let's, where it's, ben it, Maddox signs us out. Oh, well, I mean, you could you could like well, play. I don't know what I you're mean, doing it's, right it's now? It's nice music. I don't. You don't even listen to your own show I either. I hear, I hear the music. It's nice. It's cool. So we're done. So we need to do the whole. Hey, thanks for listening. Thanks for listening I'm, to this episode. I'm, I'm doing that. Thank you. Rate and review us on Apple. Don't. Spotify. Please don't. Tell a friend. No. Tell no one. Join our guild. That we, we have, have a, guild? a guild. Yes, bring our guild. Bring we it. have a guild on Board Game Geek that uh, nobody looks at. Nobody touches. It's really hard. Oh, and don't forget to join our Discord. Oh yes, God, Discord. Discord now. Dysfunction. You, Enrique disharmony. loves the Discord. <laughs> See, that's the thing. This Okay, this is the whole thing with Discord. It's for the young generation. I like it. I enjoy it. I'm hip. Hello, young people. <laughs> hello, hello, fo- hello, hello, fellow kids. Hello, hello fellow kids. What's going? Where are well, the I'm hip. I'm cool. Wait, I don't know if you use Discord. I'm on- looking for my friend Molly. I'm on TikTok. <laughs> Ticking and talking, snapping and chat. This is Jerry. This is Gabby. This is. Thank you for tolerating this episode of the Board Game Snobs. Stay classy. Thank you.